Hey guys, uh, Tony here. I'm back again to do uh, another recent finds video. Um, I probably should have waited to do my last video because um, that next morning uh, a couple packages arrived, a couple things that I'm really excited about. Um, one of them in particular was one that I never thought I'd own um, and it's probably, in my opinion, to me, one of the cooler pieces in my collection now. Um, I saw it on eBay and um, I just quickly, I think it was like just posted um, shortly before I saw it and I quickly snatched it up. It was um, by now so I just grabbed it um, but I'll, I'll get to that. So um, so yeah I picked up the two packages that arrived the next morning um, and later on that day I went to the store and picked up two new LPs and um, a handful of used stuff. I was thinking I should probably spend a little bit more time in the used section of uh, the record store I frequent most because they actually have a lot of cool stuff. I thought I'd pretty much seen it all and it had been a while since I really sorted through and looked at everything and I, in that time they've gotten a lot of cool stuff and so I grabbed a few things. Um, so I'll just get started here. Um, first really really great punk album by uh, probably one of the best punk bands there is. Um, so I'll just show it. No introduction needed here. Uh, Bad Brains. This is Black Dot. And I guess this is um, early recordings. Um, I think done before their first album. Cause I, there's a few tunes, a bunch of tunes actually from on, the, on this that's on their first record. Um, here's the back. Actually, let me take off the sleeve because I'm sure there's probably pretty bad glare. Um, so yeah, Black Dots. I mean really great collection of songs um punk reggae there's a couple slower tunes um in there but more reggae style tunes but for the most part it's you know they're faster than light punk you know that the bad brains are most known for uh phenomenal stuff i think um i found that a lot of stuff um in this genre like this really fast uh hardcore punk kind of thing has uh, a lot of times it lacks melody but with the bad brains you don't really have that I think um, while it may be sped up so fast it's hard to catch but once you get to know the songs you realize that there is a melody in there and it's actually pretty good usually so that's just what I think anyway um, people that might be more accustomed to this this kind of music more than I would disagree maybe I don't know I don't know what the general consensus is but I just think to me I said before the melody is important but anyway so yeah that was a cool find um, this here is another new one it's my first album by these this band um, I've heard about them for a long time and um, some people have recommended them and um, Big Star 1000 being another one and um, uh, Indecipherable79, she said I should check them out too. <clears throat> so, they had an album. The only one they had, excuse me, at the store, so I grabbed it. And I think it might be their newest one. It was released in 2010. But it's Bell and Sebastian, Right About Love. And here's the back. It's actually a uh, gatefold. Once again, I should take off the sleeve. And gatefold. Pretty cool picture. One's reading Keats and the other one's reading Yeats. <laughs> Which I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I got to listen to this one time and um, I really liked it. Um, very, um, I guess, new wave sounding, um, but still very cool. I, I want to check out if you're feeling sinister. Um, I know Big Star 1000, he talks about that record a lot, so I want to check that out. But yeah, I gotta listen to it more, but so far I like what I hear. Um, so yeah, another cool band. So. Alright, next up. This one here, it's a used piece, and I'm not quite sure what to make of it yet. Actually, I haven't listened to it yet, but just what it is, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I figured one of you guys out there would know what it is. It's called Recorder 3. Here's the cover. It was only a couple dollars. 
I saw there was songs on there by Robert Fripp, so I grabbed it. But it's actually a compilation. Um, I didn't recognize a lot of people on here. P. P. B. Davies, Steve Bush. Steve Bush sounded familiar, but um, I think there might be like spoken word stuff on here. Um, Robert Fripp, P. B. Davies, uh, the Thompson Twins, uh, Essential Bop. But I don't know if it's a soundtrack. It doesn't really say soundtrack, so I'm not sure what it is. But if you guys know, let me know. Um, I figured if it was something I disliked, I could always sell it online or something. But there you go. Um, this one here. Give myself some room. A couple other used pieces I'll show first. This one I've been looking for for a long time, and um, copies I've come, come across were just kind of beat, so I always passed up on them. But this one is absolutely mint, and it's definitely an original. Um, you could tell the cover's textured, almost supposed to look like leather, and um, you could just tell it's got to be an original because I'm sure represses weren't like this. But Tumbleweed Connection by Elton John, and fantastic record by him. I mean, um, love song, um, My Father's Gone. Um, What's the other one? Son of Son of Your Father. But all in all, a great record by Elton John. Probably um, overlooked in a way. But I have a few Elton John records and I've been looking for this one for a while and really glad. Here's the <clears throat> gatefold. And the inner sleeve actually has it's really interesting. If you're not familiar with this record, you know it's a whole western theme. And it opens up and here's the LP and it's just kind of sitting there it's on a uni label and really great condition too let me put this down here okay and it has a booklet the lyrics and it's just really great condition I can't stress it enough um, yeah, everyone I've come across, it's been beat, the spines were shot, or, you know, didn't have that booklet, so, I usually passed on them, I'm really glad, because this was, I paid three dollars for it, and it's in super good condition, so, it's a good find, I'll just stick this here for now, so there you go. Uh, there's one, another one that I've been looking for and, and I came across it. Really cool. But it's Jack Bruce and Robert, Robin Trower. This is called Truce. And I really like the work they, they did together, but... <clears throat> um, I, I just can't help but think of Cream, too. I mean, with, you know, Jack Bruce's voice. But, I mean, Robin Trower is just... Out of this world guitar player. So that was a good find. And again, only a few bucks... And in good condition, too. I like these sleeves, these old sleeves that they use. Plastic. So, there you go. This one I haven't listened to yet. But, um, glad I found it. Anything by this artist is great, in my opinion, usually. Um, Elvis Costello and the Attractions, Punch the Clock. And this one's strange. It has a promo stamp, but then there's a sticker over the promo stamp. So maybe it was stamped by mistake, or... Maybe too many were stamped, but yeah, cool album. I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, Every day I write the book is on here, so I'm familiar with that. And I think that might be it. Uh, Let them all talk. Um, Love went mad. Shipbuilding. Charm school. The Invisible Man. King of Thieves. Pills and soap. The world and his wife. So cool find for just a few bucks. 1983 release too. So. All right, and one more here. One that I didn't have, surprisingly. Um, but this is, again, an original and a really good copy. But it's Santana, the first album, self-titled. Uh, of course, it has um, Waiting, Evil Ways, Soul Sacrifice. I mean, if you've ever seen the footage of Woodstock of um, Santana performing Soul Sacrifice... It is just out of this world, and their drummer and their percussionist. <laughs> it's just the guy's an animal. I mean, and it's it's 
so good. And I'm uh, glad to finally have a good copy of this. For just, again, three bucks. So. Alright, now down to the final two here. Um, two really good ones. First up, this is one the two that arrived the next morning after my last video. But Earth, their new one. Um, Angels of Angels of Darkness, Demons of Light one. And I went for the again, Southern Lord pressing, and you just cannot go wrong with the quality of their pressings. They're just every time it's mint, beautiful, beautifully done. Um hard cover uh, and the vinyl pressings are beautifully done 180 gram usually I think it's 180 gram very heavy uh, if not 200 uh, probably 180 uh, but I went for the red vinyl the limited edition one I figured why not it's limited um, this is LP2 it's 2 LP you can see that color and the fourth side is etched, if you could see that, which is pretty cool. I think this is actually the first LP I have with an etching like that. So that's pretty neat. And the color, I think Dan remarked that it looked like meat, like ground beef or something. And it's true, it's like an orangey red with lighter white, it's marble, if you could see that. But yeah, uh, excellent, excellent Earth album. Um, you know, this is the kind of band you just got to put on um, as loud as you can and just sit back and, you know, let the music just surround you and, you know, just great stuff. It just builds and builds. I only got to listen to it one time, so um, I really liked it, <laughs> my first listen, but I usually like to give things a chance. I got to listen to things a few times before I really get a feel for it, really judge it and stuff. But that's just me. Some people know it on first listen, but I'm one of those that I kind of insist you listen to something a few times at least before you really judge it. Cussel came with a poster. Which, really cool. Cover art. Um, when you order something directly from Southern Lord, they always send you a whole bunch of little posters and stickers and um, different promotional things which is always cool uh, I got quite a few now um, it really works as far as promotional stuff because uh, you know you see something like they send you a little poster like this or something and you kinda wanna check out the band afterwards so it's good thinking on their part But anyway now for the final one and this is one that's really hard to come by, I think. I've never seen a copy of it. Um, this is the one I said. It was on eBay. Um, buy it now for $60. I gladly pay it, um, which I, I don't think is a bad price for this, considering <clears throat> what it is and the condition that it was in. As you know, I'm a huge fan of the replacements. And this is their first LP. They had a release before this called Stink. Um, it was an EP, and um, I, yeah, I've never seen that before, but this, this is the first copy I've ever seen, um, and it is absolutely beautiful, really, really great condition, um, barely any dings or creases or anything, um, but yeah, this is their first full-length LP, and it's called Sorry Ma Forgot to Take Out the Trash. And to me, the highlight of this album is Johnny's Gonna Die, which is a fantastic track, um, which if you look in my favorites on my page, um, I posted a ver posted the album version in my favorites, so uh, check that out. But yeah, the whole album is just fantastic. At this point in their career, they were still punk, um, really, you know, they're from Minneapolis, and... Um, along with Husker Du, um, they were kind of like the little brothers to Husker Du, I guess they've been called. Um, and at first they started out punk hardcore really fast, but it really didn't suit them. And when you listen to Stink, their first EP, the whole album is really punk, really fast. 
And it seems like between that and this, they kind of realized that it kind of wasn't going to work for them. So they incorporated much more melodies in this. While this is still punk and still very fast for the most part, um, just it's a bit more, just touches more rock in it. Especially the tune Johnny's Gonna Die. But other highlights are um, Shiftless When Idle, fantastic track. Um, I'm in Trouble, um, Raised in the City, uh, More Cigarettes, uh, Taking a Ride, um, I got a, I Bought a Headache, <laughs> which is about buying um, lousy weed, um, Customer, I Hate Music, just a great album, and again, one you rarely see, it's on Twin Tone, whoops, Just before I lose the record here on the twin tone label if you can see that and yeah really hard to find and I'm really glad I got a copy I actually have another replacements album on the way in the mail and I'm looking forward to that again another one on twin tone an early LP that it's hard to find and uh, I bought these both uh, in the same couple days so some cool additions to my replacements collection that uh, I'm really happy about so so yeah guys there it is um, really cool with this batch i mean really happy with this batch some cool stuff and uh, again leave me some comments let me know what you think and uh yeah thanks for watching take care